There's a small theater that for the past couple of years has been making a lot of noise in downtown Akron. And now the upstart Bang and Clatter Theater Company is taking their show on the road and opening a second location on Euclid Avenue in downtown Cleveland near Public Square. The 9,000 square foot theater is scheduled to open a little later this year and company co-founders Sean Derry and Sean McConaughey join me with more on their new venture. Guys, it's good to have you in. Thank you for having us. It's our pleasure. Well, let's start with um, the idea behind the original Bang and Clatter. You saw a need to provide what that wasn't already in the marketplace? Well, I think when we looked around and saw what theater was being produced, we saw a lot of the same things, a lot of repeat plays, things that were being recycled over and over again, and we didn't see the excitement in that. We thought, well, you know, we're two passionate theater people, and we're not seeing things that excite us, that interest us. So we uh, thought, you know, let's do this ourselves and find material that we respond to, things that we think will you know, people will appreciate and be moved by and go forward with it. And it's proven to be quite a successful adventure so far. Yeah. D did you have a, a model in terms of, hey, kids, let's put on a theater? Or, or <laughs> were you just working with your own kind of blueprint? Well, we had been doing theater uh, before we started the Bang and the Clatter. And so we knew what we didn't want to do. Um, Steppenwolf is our model, uh, which is, most people know Steppenwolf out of Chicago. Um, so the type of theater that we do is very uh, close, very intimate, kind of um, more edgy material, but uh, very close proximity to the audience. So it's very much more like uh, uh, watching an independent film. The acting is much smaller in scale. Not, you know, you don't have your big, large gestures to, you know, to show to the back of a 200, you know, foot auditorium. The, the audience is right there. We can literally reach out and touch our audience. And. People who've written about um, the, the shows that you do often talk about the in-your-face quality of it, not just the, the physical intimacy, but the kinds of plays that you choose. Um, is there a, a show that says, this is the bang and the clatter, when you look at it? I mean, when you see a script, do you say, yeah, that's got what I want? And, and what are those qualities? Well, we've read so many plays, and we choose the things that the both of us are inspired by. We, they have a story to tell. We want character-driven, actor-driven pieces that don't rely on special effects or crazy things like that, that are just about people relating to each other as human beings. Now, some of the plays are difficult. There are difficult themes, material, and things that happen in them. But at the end of the day, there's a value to those plays, and I think that that's what people respond to. They know that we're not being exploitive. We're not choosing plays just to have salacious material. We're doing it so that people will have a long-lasting impression, and they'll be talking about the work long after they've left the building. Yeah. Those same writers, critics, say um, love the ambition of the bang and the clatter and, and putting on the amount of shows that you have already in Akron um, they see as, as something of a Herculean effort. So, um, <laughs> so are you a little nuts to be uh, doubling that uh, amount? It's the only way to be. <laughs> a little right? nuts. Go big or go home <laughs> is our motto. Um, yeah, well, you know, we were, the MRN Limited came to us, um, Rick and Ari Marin, uh, who are the developers of the 4th Street area. And uh, they came to us and said, you know, we would love what you guys are doing in Akron to be done in Cleveland, especially in that neighborhood. And we already had at that time an 80% uh, Cleveland audience that's in Akron. So 80% of our audience a year ago was driving upwards of 70 miles round trip to see what we were doing. So it was kind of a no-brainer to go ahead and open a second venue, uh, which will give us a, a larger opportunity to reach more people so that people could see what we're doing, but most importantly, to change theater in this region, to bring it ahead, you know, to, to, to make Northeast Ohio a, a theater mecca, you know, um, a place where when people think of great theater, they think of Ohio, not just New York or L.A. And, and that's not going to happen by only producing shows that are done all over the state already. So, mm -hmm. so it, was a, it was a great opportunity, and, and we thought, hey, let's jump on it. But does that then mean that your Akron audience is going to decrease by 80%? No, we no, absolutely not. It, that number is starting to even out over the period of time. I think that the material that we did appealed to a more sophisticated audience, and a lot of more of those theaters existed in Cleveland than did in Akron at that point. But Akron has caught on, and there our audiences are starting to build. And now we're starting to draw from the Canton area and Youngstown and Mansfield. And so people are starting to come from different areas, and that will fill in that gap. 
Um, and there's a lot of people. There's a lot of universities. There's a lot of high school students. One of the things that's most amazing about what we've been able to do is we've captured that demographic that's so elusive, that 18 to 40 year old demographic. And Sean and I truly believe that for theater to survive in this century, it's going to be to invigorate new audiences because you know, theater audiences are typically older, you know, and because of that, we have to find a way to find a new generation of theater goers. So by choosing material that's more familiar to them, that they can understand and relate to better, and it's already working. I mean, we have season ticket holders that are 16 years old, all the way up to 93. And that sweep shows that there's something, just not just in the work that we do, but there's an appeal um, to the to taking the pretension out of it and that Sean and I are fun loving Irish kids but at the end of the day the work is important and they see that and they know that we can do it and have a good time and we, we don't try to be overly analytical about the work we just say look we have some things that we think you would like to see and people are responding to that. Excellent. In terms of drawing that younger demographic you've done other things um, besides uh, the choosing the plays. I mean, pricing is something that, that you've taken into consideration. Uh. Well, it's very important to us that theater be something that's accessible, accessible to all. You know, our mission is, is to create a dialogue within the community. And um, one thing that we've seen is, is that uh, the community isn't fully represented in theaters. When you go to theaters, the majority of the people there are people within that top 10%, you know, economic demographic. And so that's not real dialogue within the community. So we wanted to make theater uh, accessible and to reach that 18 to 40, 40, 45 uh, uh, demographic, we have to make it uh, cheaper, you know, more affordable. So we have pay as you can. It's a pay as you can program that's for every show, for every performance. People can come in and pay a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever, sometimes nothing. We've even accepted a pie for, for, for uh, a ticket. We so, um, <laughs> you know, our idea is, is let's, let's, let's not be the theater that constantly has their hand out saying, hey, give, give, give. Let's invest into our audience, into patrons, and say, we'll allow you to come and see what we're doing because we fully believe that you're going to be so excited and so turned on by what we do that someday down the road, you will invest in us. And, and that turns out to be a better, a better plan for us. It works better for us than, than to say, hey, pay $30 for a ticket, you know. Yeah get what you get. Yeah. I'm really pleased that uh, both of you could come in. Looking forward to the new venue in, in downtown Cleveland and best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you so much. My guests have been Sean Derry and Sean McConaughey, the co-founders of the Bang and the Clatter Theater Company in Akron and now Cleveland. To find out more, call the theater at 330-606-5317 or log on to our applause homepage at wviz.org. And for more on the arts and culture scene in and around Northeast Ohio, be sure to join me weekdays at 12 p.m. for around noon on your Cleveland NPR station, WCPN 90.3 FM.